I think there's always uh, one player that you know sort of becomes the identity of the team. You know, for me, you've heard me say this a lot. Um, you know, I had Jared, it was Jared Cole's team, it was Matt Gaines's team, it was Marvel's team, and now it's Aaron White's team. Now that said, <clears throat> we have seven upperclassmen. So I expect there to be a lot more leadership coming from other folks besides Aaron. But you know, he's a guy that has established himself as a player. Lead by example, and um, you have to show what it takes to win at this level, which you know, I, think, I think I realize what it takes. And, um, I was looking forward to it. You know, it's my last year. Um, so there's nothing to hold back from. It was just pickup ball that we were watching, but before one of the football games, you were over there and you're knocking down jumpers and threes. Yeah. And stuff. Do you feel like you've added that to your game on a consistent basis? Yeah, it's a, level, it's a level of confidence. I mean, um, everybody swears I can't shoot, but I, I, mean, I know I can. Just because I haven't made it in a game doesn't mean that, you know, whether we're playing pickup or they're practicing, I'm not making it. So it's all about confidence and shooting, getting ready to shoot. You know, when it comes game time. That's one of the knocks on this team is shooting. Do you think that's fair? Do you think it's shooting? That's that's not gonna well, that's one of the questions. I mean, you guys struggled with it last year. <laughs> you think that's a fair criticism? No, I mean, when you got guys like Pete, Jared, J.O., Brandy, Mike, Sapp, I mean, we got shooters, so I, mean, I haven't heard that, but no, I don't agree with that. I think that is a knock that people are saying. Are you a natural leader, Aaron, or is it something you have to work at? No, it's not anything I have to work at. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell by my play. I'm fiery, I'm, I'm competitive, and I think that's part of what, what it takes to be a leader. Um, as I think somebody asked me earlier, I'm kind of I'm working on more how to approach guys. You got to approach different guys different ways, depending on the situation. Um, some situations call you to you know jump a guy and you know call him out for what they did. Another situation, you, know, you got to put a quick arm around the guy, and um, that's the biggest thing you got to learn. That's that's what coaches do, and that's the big thing that I've I've taken away from. You know, Coach Spiro has talked to me a lot about it, and um, that's what I'm trying to work on. But no, it's not something that I'm afraid of that I'm not used to. It's just you know, it's something I look forward to. Are there things you'll do as a senior that maybe you wouldn't do as a junior as far as leadership goes? Um, I mean, last year, you know, I really wanted to be that leader that, that stepped up and um, took control of the team. And it was just a little bit hard, to be honest, with, um, you know, clearly dealt with the guy, you know, go-to guy. And I didn't want to step on any of the senior shoes. And you know, that's not making an excuse by any means, but it's just, yeah, it's just a different situation. Now, you know, I feel like it's my last year. I don't feel like there's anything holding me back. And, um, Nothing different, just I feel like I don't have any restrictions. I can just um, you know, lead how I want to and um, kind of show the, the newer guys what it takes and continue to, to help the juniors and the sophomores. What did you take out of how last season played out? I mean, you guys kind of peaked in January, got up to number 10 in the country, and then struggled down the stretch. What, what did you take out of that? I think it was just a, you know, obviously we're playing good teams. You know, obviously in the Big Ten, you you're playing the best best teams every night, you know, this league's so tough, but also just, you know, we kind of hit a slump, I feel like, and we broke down and, you know, we lost, what was it, seven out of our last eight or eight out of our last nine, something like that, but I think just defensively, uh, we shut down towards the end of the year, we weren't stopping people, when you look at our wins against, you know, for example, Michigan, we, get, we beat them at home, um, they weren't scoring the ball. Up, you know, 70, 80 points per game, and you know they were shooting above 40 percent from the field. And um, you know when we, were, when we were winning, it was quite less than that. Something we need to, you know, improve on this year to, you know, so it's happen next year. What do you envision for Jared Utah now? Do you envision him being taking a larger role both within the offense and then possibly moving into starting? Absolutely, he's got. I mean, he's he's a guy that I think you saw it last year in certain games. He was phenomenal. Uh, I don't think it's easy, you know, sitting out two years and then playing half the game. You know, for him, I think extended playing time, getting a little more comfortable now. You'll see him, I think, play completely differently. Uh, he's a mature guy now. He's his fourth year of college. You know, he's much stronger. He's been around, but it's, he's still only played one year. So this year now, he's going to obviously, obviously have a chance to start. He, he, I would expect him to be the starter. He'll play both positions, the three and the four. Uh, but I want him to be aggressive offensively. I think that'll be the key for him and for us. Do you think people maybe misconstrued the uh, you knocking the rust off for maybe a lack of aggressiveness? 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. I wasn't as aggressive as I should have been last year, and partly was we had such a deep, a deep team. It, it was hard for me coming in and out. That's just excuses, though. I'm, I'm going to be more aggressive this year, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, you know, point guard play will be an interesting situation. I mean, when you have your starting point guard back, it's not usually a discussion. But when you sign a junior college All-American and you have Mike Cassell who's capable of playing the two, then it becomes a discussion. I think the guy that nobody's talking about is a guy we probably should be talking about is Anthony Clemens. Very few people handle what he went through last year the way he did. Most people will just transfer. You know, I didn't play him as much. He didn't play as much. He didn't play as well. Nine out of ten kids today blame everybody else. And he took full responsibility and ownership of, of the season he had which was unexpected based on how he played when he was a freshman. So uh, there's only one way to handle that, and that's to go out and work that much harder in the offseason, which he did. He's in phenomenal shape. He had a great summer, obviously, in the prime time league. Uh, really, I think he was the MVP. And, and uh, I think when you see him, you'll notice a difference. He's leaner, he's more explosive, and he's playing like an experienced veteran should play. I'm excited about him. So you got a lot of candidates there. I got a lot of I got a lot of knowledge in my hands. A lot of people built me up, brought my confidence back. I'm ready to be me. It sounds like that's what it's gonna take to win the point guard job. There's a lot of there's a lot of hands in that battle, right? Uh, it is, but I mean, you know, you got two very good guys, two other good guys at that position, you know. And all I can do is push them to get better and they can just push me to get better, you know. We all bring something different, you know, and uh, it's what's benefit to the team, you know. It, at the end of the day, it's a coach's decision. It's not my decision. All I can do is bring it every day and leave it up to coach. You know, Trey's a very good player. Um, it's another guy that, you know, it's just ma we're making each other better every day in practice and a guy to, to just battle with. And, you know, I think we play very well together. I'm comfortable playing the one or the two. And you'll see different lineups throughout the year, um, you know, with, with Anthony Clements, too. He's improved a lot. And, you know, we have a lot of depth on this team, and that's something that you really want. Um, you know, I'm really excited. You know, I've been, you know, going through the summer with the guys and everything. So now I'm really looking forward to the season because I'd like to move away. For somebody who's never seen you play, how would you describe your style? What can you bring to this team? I think I bring a different speed and um, a guy that can, you know, big guy love to dribble and uh, find my teammate. I can score on uh, when I have an axe to and uh, just really lead.